in the wrong manner, then that will cause problems and you'll be getting some errors and kind of hit a brick wall. So be sure if you're not using something like FileZilla that does it automatically that you do transfer those in the correct mode. Now we're going to go back to the files transferring and take a look at the progress. Now I'm old fashioned and set in my ways so I extracted the files, edited what I needed to and then have begun the upload process. You can actually again uh, when I started the video I spoke about the file manager or the legacy file manager in cPanel you can upload the zip file there and extract it directly to save uh, time from it having to upload all these files individually but other than that I'm going to pause for a few seconds it's going to seem like a few seconds to everyone and then when I come back all the files will be done and we'll begin the installation script so give me just a few seconds alright now as you can see everything has uploaded into the install video directory which is our root or uh, some of you if you wanted to do it in forums you could have actually came in here and just keyed in forums and or forum and uploaded the file there but let's go back and proceed now what I've done is brought up another browser and I'm gonna go through the installation script with you now if for any reason some of your files didn't up upload properly, excuse me, or you forgot a few in the upload process, you may see errors similar to this or something um, with the same amount of uh, information. But what I'm going to do is go up top here and you'll see I've keyed in to replace this with www.yoursite.com slash install slash install.php and then what we're going to do is hit enter. Now this is where you're going to need your vBulletin customer number that we spoke about when we first started the video. So find that information now and go ahead and key that in. And then after you've keyed that in, click on enter install system. And now after you click enter the install system, I'm going to say allow, it's going to redirect you. We are beginning the install script right now. So what you'll want to do is go through and read this as you go okay I'm not gonna read every single step but you don't want to click too fast because if something comes up and there's an error or something comes up you want to be able to copy down the URL up top here because you'll see how that changes and then you also want to copy down any message that it posts in the screen okay alright config file exists and is readable good okay connection is successful. So now it's going to go through and start creating all these tables in that brand new database that you just created. And you may have to scroll down on some of this and then click next when it's done. Okay, we're on to step five. Now let's keep going. Okay, next is step six. Okay, that was successful. Seven. And then now step seven sometimes takes, uh, you know, maybe a little under a minute. And just give it time to run its course. And then when it's done, it'll also have a next button right at the bottom. You can just kind of eyeball it and see what it's doing on the screen here. it be something very similar when you have this uh, running in your browser. Okay, so now we're on to step eight. Okay. All right, it's got the admin help. Let's go to nine. Now we're just going to leave all this blank, but normally you want to give the title of your site. So let's just say install video. It automatically have this keyed in. You can give your homepage title. Come in here and select some of these other settings. If you don't have another forum running already and this is in fact your first forum, leave all this alone. Leave it blank. Do not touch it or you'll end up having issues. You can change your webmaster email address to the one you put down as technical email so you're um, sure to receive all the emails you need to. And now after that we'll click proceed. And now it's going to import the settings. Step 11. And now here's an important part. You want to create a user and then a password. And remember the same thing just as in your database password. It needs to be very long and secure. 
mine is not very long but it's slightly secure so then give in um, give them your email address or the form rather give the email address so same thing you entered under webmaster so something similar and then well then you'll hit proceed say not now. Now it's added an administrator so next step is 13 and it's installing the blog and then after the blog is going to be the CMS. Now if you just have the forum only you won't go through these steps. But now what you want to do is install the CMS default data. You don't have to, you can skip that but then your home page is completely empty. Now what you can do is click install. It will install it with the user which is the user you just created and now you can go back in and view your CMS or your home page rather and edit all the different articles that are in there and edit them to your liking and make them have the content you want and it's not doing extra work so it can save you a little bit of time and then the leftover ones just simply delete them so now let's click next step 15 and now we're pretty much done but we have to remember to go back into the install folder and delete install.php. So we just want to say delete. We're going to minimize that back. And now you can click here and it will let you proceed. Click login. You'll see all your admin control panel options on the left, and then you can click form homepage. It's going to be a little shrunk because the video is not as wide. But there you go. You have successfully installed your vBulletin suit or forum. So what we want you to do now is go ahead and go in and customize some of these settings if you need to. If you don't, it's pretty much ready to go. You just give out the URL. Uh, be sure to go through the settings, though, and make sure the options, all these different options, uh, are turned on or turned off. If you want to enable the Facebook Connect, then you want to come down and click Yes and turn that on. So there's still quite a bit for you to learn, but other than that, you've successfully installed your first vBulletin forum. Enjoy it, and any questions, be sure to post at vBulletin.com and also check out the free mods and styles at vBulletin.org. That's it. Have a good one. Bye bye.